Is the new girl going to be all right? I'm sure you'll like her, boss. Nita, do that last number for Mr. Howard. Thinking on speaking to the boss about you. About me? Yeah, I think I can get you a better job. With you, dude? That's a killer. Boss is in there now. Stick around for a few minutes. He's not too busy. Maybe I can get you set up. Come on, Tom. Nita, keep it up, and you'll be a hit in my show. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Boss, you sure know how to pick them. Meet the boys. Dude, Sharpie. They're 100%. Hello, boys. Hello, Nita. Why, Tommy, what are you doing here? See this kid, boss? Uh, he may be good for us. Jim McCoy's brother? Bring him upstairs. Okay. See you later, Nita. Come on, kid. Excuse me. What are you doing after the show tonight, Nita? After the show? Yes. After the show, I go home. Are you coming, dude? Be right with you, boss. I suppose you do. But what you need is some strong, two-fisted man to give you protection. Jump in, lay your jar, but I'll jam an in. Spirit cans and wine jars, little bus cut and rub. Gate cats, stomp and rub and high, shaking like ships at sea. Cut the gift up. What are you trying to do? Dance yourself out of a job? No. I was trying to dance my way into a job. What kind of a job? I want to get into your show. Well, I could put you in my show if... Uh... You're not a customer, Mr. Snively. You're only the manager. Oh, but Sally, you know, you do something to me. I... You, I know. That's your routine. But I don't buy it. But I want you to buy my routine. Oh, what's the use? The kid's been one of our best runners, Chief. Well, I'll always do my best. So I, I thought I'd like to take him along on one of my jobs. You think you can trust him with anything as important as that? Oh, I know we can. You've got a big job to do tonight. You think you can use him? Well, I don't know about that. Sure, I'd like to do it. What is it, something I can do? The first thing to learn is not to ask questions. Okay, see how it works out. You stick with him. All right, let's get going, kid. Boys. Hi. She's as cold as a cucumber. I'd like to hit that one arm bandit just once, Slim. Maybe this is your lucky day. Be good to me, little two bits. Daddy needs you and all your little brothers cooped up here in this machine.
My shoe gets plenty of nothing. <laughs> Let me have a whirl at it, Flip. Excavate them, Flip. It'll be a pleasure. Boy, you fathers must have been crowned with horseshoes. Look at all this silver. Why, there must be 20 fish in this little mine. That's the way it's done, boys. I is exalted. <laughs> Hello, baby. You glad to see me? That depends, big boy. What do you mean, that depends? What have you been doing? Oh, this and that. Why don't you stop saying nothing? What I mean is, what have you been doing for this, sir? Uh, that. Oh, he's tickling me. I wish you'd tickle me with some good news. Honey, the first break I get, I'm going to buy you 14 different kind of fur coats. A limousine for every day in the week. You're going to have 10 butlers, 12 maids, and $500 bills for your pocket change. Your purse is going to bulge out with $1,000 bills. I'm going to... you got a quarter. You, you, you get out of here! <laughs> guess I better go. I guess you better. Be seeing you. Dude, you're a solid sender. Everything's okay for tonight, Sharpie. Tommy's gonna work with us. Gonna break in, huh, kid? Yeah, Mr. Howard himself said so. Come on, I'll give you the lowdown. Why, Jim? We're going out and have a big lunch. Lucky again? Just a little. Really? Uh-huh. Come on. Just a moment, dear. Hello, Tommy. I didn't expect to see you here. I just saw Mr. Howard. He gave me a big job. A big job doing what? We don't discuss the boss's business in public. I didn't ask you. But I'm telling you. Tommy, you're making a mistake. I know it. If you're thinking of that job that friend of yours wants to give him with the Pullman service, why didn't you take it? I'm sorry I didn't. Some of our greatest men rose from the ranks of the Pullman service. Tommy, I'll see you home at dinner tonight. Come on, kid. I don't know what I can do about this. Tommy's a good kid. He'll be all right. Come on, I'm star. So am I. anything like this, dude. You're in it now. Keep quiet. I'm getting out. When you get out, they'll be tearing you out. Now shut up and pull that light up here. Gee, is that real stuff? Keep your trap shut. You can't, unless you want to get the chair. Now scram. Thank you. 
champagne? I'll take a beer. <laughs> Catch myself one of them lucky numbers yet. You couldn't catch five. You lay down inside a fern. Oh, let him alone, Sally. He picks the numbers. You pick on him, and you know you love him. So oh, help me. Take a cigarette. Why, yes, Sally, I'll have a cigar. And uh, here you are. Keep the change. Thank you, Mr. McCoy. Why, you? Now, nah, now, nah, miss. Remember where you are. As I was saying, Jim. Ten minutes. How do you feel? Never felt better, Mr. Snively. That's fine. Now, honey, go out there and knock them cold. I'll do my best. Good luck. Thanks. Good night's work, dude. You having the trouble? No. How'd the kid take it? Well, after we had to let the watchman have it, he, he kind of folded up. You think it'll be hard to handle? I don't think so, boss. He knows if he does any talking, put himself right in the middle. If he opens up, we'll have to. What about the kid's cut? Well, anything you say, boss. We'll throw him a few crumbs after uh, turn the stuff over to Harmon. Better keep an eye on him anyway. Okay. Better get downstairs in case you need an alibi. Yeah, see you at the club, boss. Right. Hello? Jack Harmon, please. This is Murray Howard speaking. Oh, hello, Jack. I'm fine. Drop over to the club the first chance you get. Yeah. I've got some business I want to discuss with you. So long. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a big surprise for you. Among the many celebrities here in the club this evening, we have our old friend and composer, of Dark Town Strutter's Ball, and some of these days, and countless other song hits. And that is none other than our old friend, Shelton Brooks. <laughs> now, Shelton, if you come out and give us a number, thank you very much. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for this lovely ovation. And I think I have time for one little number, so what would you like to hear? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I expected that. <laughs> no matter where you travel around, you'll always find in every town a place where the real gang hang around. It's rather small. You always call it the hole in the wall. Say you see white folks off the room. Say low down to dusky waiters serving hooch, high brown babies doing the gooch. You see it all, it's a hole in the wall. Now I know a guy they call Bad Jim. Most everybody is afraid of him, but 
bad Jim, he lies now in bed. Two black eyes and a bandaged head. He got it all, the hole in the wall. Old Professor Jenkins lost his wife. He thought somebody took her life. But late one night, to his surprise, old Fess saw with his own dear eyes his wife sneaking out the hole in the wall. <laughs> now they serve all kinds, delicious eat, fried chicken and all them fancy meat. But that pastry cook, bless her soul, showed us a good jelly roll. I know, cause I had some the hole in the wall. Snibbly. Hello, Dylan. Say, I could go for that new chick. Need her? Fix it up. I'll fix it up for you, dude. Just leave it to me. When it comes to the ladies, I'm the best jive man there is. Do your stuff. You bet I will. Nita. Be nice to do hockey. He's a big timer. Be a while. Okay, Mr. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet our new star, Miss Nita. Gotta find a way to make you care. I got my heart your way. You're too shady. What can I say or do? Getting it right with you. I got the kind of love that you expect. My kiss is heavy. Mm. Take the speck. Nothing I wouldn't do. Getting it right with you. Come on, you, come on, me, can't you see you're too slow? Why wait anymore? Let us dance, let us sing, let us swing, let us go. Get out the water, do the dirt, do Whip in my arms just right where you belong. And with a love like this, you can't go wrong. I'll live my whole life through. Getting in right with you. <laughs> Dude Marky. Come on me, come on you, can't you see you're too slow? Why wait anymore? Let us sing, let us dance, let us swing, let us go. La da do do with it. Like mine. You can't go wrong, I'll live my whole life through. 
Getting in right with you. Getting in right with you. Getting in right with you. Going up to see Nina for a minute. You wait here for me. a great performance for dude. For dude? Didn't you enjoy it? Was I supposed to? Why, Jim, you're... I guess no one noticed it but me. But your smiles are supposed to be equally divided among the audience. But dude, the snake got them all. You're right, dear. But I was obeying orders. Orders? Oh, I get it. Making a mountain out of him and a molehill out of me. Now, for a moment, folks. Jimmy? Tommy didn't come home for dinner. That shouldn't worry you. Maybe he's... Come in. I just ordered a couple of drinks to be served here in your dressing room. A highball for me and a Tom Collins for you. Did I guess your drink? No. No? Then you can have anything you want. I'm not drinking. Oh, but you deserve one. You were wonderful tonight. Oh, I, I didn't mean to slight you. Uh, Run down to the bar and order yourself a drink. Tell him it's on me. No, thanks. Just what are you trying to do? Put on the dog for her? Why, this is the first time I ever heard of a tin horn gambler turning down a freebie. Why, you... No, Jim. Don't worry. I'm not going to fight this. I have too much respect for you. Are you sure it's respect for her? Or fear of my right? Let's go outside. Jim, please, don't. You're going out all right, because I'm going to throw you out. Good, I wouldn't have got it. Look out! What have you been up to? Who, me? Yes, you. What's been going on here? Oh, officers. The boys have just been playing. Hello, Sally. Hello, Nita. Hello, Lanny. They've been playing awful rough. Well, you see, they was teaching us some new dance steps, and my feet show sure got hot. This doesn't look like you, Jim McCoy. Who fired the shot? Nobody fired a shot here. Did they? Did my feet get that hot? Look for a gun, Dan. Anything you want to tell me, Nita? It wasn't anything, really, Lanny. You men better clear out of here. Better go, Jim. Wait for me after the show. Okay, Nita. I'll see you again, Nita. And, I'll... and no more playing, Jim. You sent for me, Chief? Yes. What was that argument down in Nita's dressing room? Just that gambler, Jim McCoy. I told you I didn't want any trouble around this club. And above all, no shooting. You had that straight. And you had to drag the law in here. Well, everything worked out all right. 
was no fault of yours. And if it happens again, you're well figured out for yourself. Okay, boss. It won't. But at least, now I got a couple of coppers to give me an alibi for tonight. Am I glad to be home? Boy, did you look funny with that cold cream on your face. Is that so? I'll let it drop. It's all over. Hello, folks. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Jim. Hello. I knew you'd be bringing the girls home. Jim, I gotta see you. You folks will excuse me. I'll see you later. What's up? Where were you at dinner tonight? Oh, uh, tonight? I was working. Jim, I gotta have some money. Come on upstairs. We'll talk about it later. Needle, what a night. You said it. Sally will make some coffee. Now, that's a pleasure I'll be looking forward to. We'll be right along, Slim. Anything wrong, Tommy? Nothing's the matter. You don't act like it. Just because I asked you for a little money? I'm all right. Will you quit asking me so many questions? Sit down, kid. You act like you got the jitters. You better stay away from that Mary Howard crowd. Will you quit preaching to me? I'm all right. And I'll go with anybody I please. Hello, Annabelle. You poor little fish. Why, you ain't got no privacy at all. Here, let go, let go. Well, why don't you stop bothering those fish? Maybe they're tired. Tell that to the fish. I hope you drown, you shark. Coffee's being served. Come on, Jim, get the glass tray. Is the coffee perking? Goodbye. Then let me do the honor. I'm going to pour it and serve it in swing. Yeah, I go. Y'all's coffee fell down. Why, you? I'll answer it. Folks, sit down. What are you worried about? Coffee brewing tonight? Of course there is. Hello, Jim. I guess you're glad to be off duty, Inspector. Yes, sir. It's been a busy night. Another holdup and killing just off the avenue. Did you get them? Not yet. Happened before midnight. Safe at a jeweler's shop on Jefferson was rifled. They got a haul of jewels. Guess they were caught at it by the watchman. The old fellow probably didn't have a chance. He was lying near the safe with a bullet in him. Was he dead? Yes. It's probably the same gang that's been pulling these holdups. This time, we're going out to get them. Just to think, you can't tell who you're rubbing elbows with these days. If you stumble this time, you stumble right out of my life. Tommy Withers blowed away at last. It's all right, Sally. All we have left is a sweet aroma of your coffee. Thank you, Inspector. Why don't you try to talk like that, useless? Oh, useless. See, I suppose useless. Tommy's in some kind of trouble, and I think I know just where to find the answer. Howard? And that whole crowd, especially Dude Markey. Well, I can't play these. Aces and kings. No good. Three little deuces. <laughs> my, my. I'm always good, but I ain't good enough. Say, Slim, are you sure Jim McCoy said he'd be here tonight? Now listen, dude. Whenever Jim McCoy says he's gonna be someplace, boy, he's already there. Well, I just thought he might be afraid to show up. Were you saying something, dude? Yes. Boy, I'm sure glad to see you. I couldn't hold out much longer. Sit right down there. Yes, sir. Sit right down. I'm willing to forget our little misunderstanding, dude. Okay, Jim. Forget it. Mind if I join the game? No. Get right ahead. Come on. Gonna win our money, eh? 
Maybe. I'll take a snack, gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> I better fin. I'll call him and raise it five more. I'll call you and raise you ten. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you all about my brother. Yes, sir, I got a fine brother. He got fine five children. I don't think he can raise them. Pass by, boy. Say, what is this? Shut up your mouth. Here, you. Sit down. Well, I was just talking about my brother. That's all Let's I forget know. about it. I'll bet three. I guess this just ain't my night. I'll call you anyway, though. Raise your five. That'll cost you five more. I gotta win the next hand. I bet you 15. I call your 15 and raise you this little stack. What kind of hands are you holding in there? I bet 15 blues. I call your 15, and I'll raise you the stack. Come out. Well, that cleans me, boys. Unless you'll take my IOU, dude. I suppose Murray Howard will, Jim. Why don't you go in the office in there and ask him? Why not? This kind of luck can't last much longer. <laughs> Come in. Hello, Jim. How's the game going? Not so good, Murray. That's rather unusual for you, isn't it? Yeah. Say, Murray, I'd like to take some dough on my IOU. How much do you want? 500. 500? Okay. Sign here. Okay. You know, Jim, I wouldn't do this for many people. I appreciate that, Murray. But your record has always been straight. There you are. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, Murray. Well, what next time, Jim? I'll take a brand new stack, gentlemen. Brand new money, brand new look. Any up, fellas. Here we go again. I'm in. Gary, play my hand a minute, will you? I've got to make a call. Okay, dude.
Eric. Oh, it's all right, dude. I'm out. How many? I'll take three. How about you? I'll stand pat. Uh, give me one. Huh? Jock Harmon just came in. He's waiting outside your office. Yes, I called him. I'll be right up. Okay, boss. I think I've got something good for you this time. This stuff's coming in plenty fast. I don't know. There you go, putting on your act again. Doc, you always wind up for giving me a fancy trimming. Hurry, you got me wrong. Hurry, what's up? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Why, what's the matter? The stuff is gone. Dude, bring the boys in here. This doesn't look so good. That package you brought in has disappeared. Are you sure, boss? It's not there, and that's enough. It was in the safe earlier tonight. Quit stalling. I want that package and I want it right now. Who's been in here tonight? No one except you men. That is, uh... Is Jim McCoy still in there? Yes, he's still here. Bring him in. Say, Jim, the boss wants to see you. If anything happens, I'll see you at Needle's apartment. Gentlemen. Have a seat, Jim. We had a little accident here tonight, Jim. That's too bad, Murray. Yeah, something walked out of the safe. The safe? How? That's what's worrying me. You don't mind me seeing if you... if it accidentally dropped in your pocket, do you? Why should I? Help yourself, Murray. This explains the accident. Even carries a combination to my safe in his pocket. Where's that package? You mean, uh, the package from the safe? You know what I mean. Suppose I tell you that I don't know. If you don't produce that package, I'll turn you over to the boys. And I don't have to tell you what that means. No. No, you don't. Turn over that package and I might forget that you're absent-minded. Okay, Murray. Well, you see, it was like this. I was pretty much up against it. You know what a guy will do when he's in a spot? I had to make good on a big gambling debt. If I welched, I was going for a ride. So I... Don't shoot! You'll have the police on our neck. We can handle this without their help. Dude, this is your job. Bring him here. We'll bring him in, Murray. Get going, fellas. Get on it yourself. It'll be a pleasure. What now? Come around tomorrow, Jock. We'll have the stuff here. Hey, oh, that'll fix it all right. It'll be all right. Jim, are you hurt? No, it's nothing. Lively told me. And did he put it on? I felt like breaking my cigarette tray over his head. Now, you leave that to us. Don't you go getting in trouble. I got in trouble when I got you. Jim, dude's out looking for you. We'll have to meet sooner or later. Look, there's a combination they found in my pocket. Now, look on the other side. That number written there, 271. 
I know that's somebody's number. Whoever wrote 271 is playing it. And Murray Howard runs the game. Now, how are we going to find out who is playing 271? I'll find out, Jim, even if I have to ask everybody in town. Got yourself a job. Yes, sir. 271. Somebody's going to have a mighty unlucky number. Yes, sir. My mind is already working. Better be careful you don't wear it out. Good luck, Slim. Take care of yourself, Slim. I know you ain't much, but I don't want to lose you. Oh, go on, go on, before you start getting mushy. Big love. Jim, I found something, too. This is in my shoe bag in the dressing room. The little play toy that Dude Marky was trying to use on me. Three empty shells. He only fired once in your dressing room. I think we've got something here. What is it, Jim? I've got a hunch that the other two shells were used in that jewelry store. Can't you see what they're doing? They're putting Tommy on the spot. Maybe for murder. Well, what are you going to do? I've got to find my brother first. Have a talk with him. Find out where he went with Dude that night. Please be careful, Jim. They're after you and won't stop at anything. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to me. What you doing, Slim? Trying to balance your budget? No, I'm just trying to figure a lucky number. Still playing them, eh? I can't say that I'm playing them. Because when you're playing them, you got a chance to win. But that ain't me. No, sir. Say, Snively. Yeah. What is the number they all playing now? What do you think of that number 271? Do you know anybody that's playing that number? Number 271. I couldn't remember that. But to come to think of it, uh... No, no, Slim. I'm sorry. I don't remember that number at all. Why, 271 is the number you've been playing, dude. That's right. I wonder how he found it out. Well, I'll find out. I'll get Slim and uh, kind of shake it out of him. No. Then we tip our mitt. I'll find out. Here, dealer. Fine, McCoy. Well, been here and he's out gunning for you, boss. Well, that shouldn't worry me the least with you around, should it? We'll get him before he gets you. Yeah. Maybe I'd better get me some new boys. A guy comes in, cracks my safe. I sit and wait while you nitwits play hide and seek and don't find anything. You'd better get wise to yourself, dude. Have you figured the kid? The kid? You mean Tommy McCoy? What's your idea? Well, in the first place, he probably gave his brother the combination to the safe. He had a chance to pick it up. Yeah? What else? Well, he ought to know where his brother is. Well, what are you waiting for? Get the kid and bring him in. You ought to be able to handle him if you can't his big brother. I can handle any of them. We'll see about that. Jim! How did you get here? Through the window. You still can't find him? I must find him. I'm about ready to play my trump card. Who is it? You. Just a minute. Play up to it. Okay. Hello, dude. I've missed you. I've had business to take care of. Won't you sit down? Thanks. Well, have you put that phony out of your mind? Yes, maybe I have. You know, I've been wanting to talk to you, baby. I'm figuring on leaving here. But where are you going? Well, I can do you plenty of good. When are you leaving? Pretty quick. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We can be married right away. You don't give me much time to make up my mind, dude. I can make up for that by all the things I can give you. Anything you want, you can have. 
Those are big promises. I've got what it takes to back them up. But I've got to have time to think it over. How long? After the show tonight. Could you, uh, could you come by my house? I'll be there, baby. To take you with me. Nice work, honey. I'll be waiting for Mr. Dude Markey. How long? We find him at the bus station trying to skip town. Leave him here with me. Find Dude and send him in. Okay, boss. Tommy, we've been looking for you. I didn't know it. Honest, I didn't. Where's your brother Jim? I don't know. I ain't seen him. Do you know now? No, no, I swear I ain't seen him. You gave him the combination to my safe. I'll give you five minutes to tell me where he is. No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. I didn't tell him nothing. I ain't even seen him. You've got five minutes. I got it. That number, 271. I found out who's playing it. Come on, quit stalling. Who's playing it? Dude Marcus, Snibbler, give it away this afternoon. Boy, is that a clincher. Will Murray Howard be surprised? Now, do you want me to find Tommy? Sure, keep looking. I'm feeling proud of myself already. Go right ahead, Hawkshaw. I've got work to do. I'm on my way. Would you mind calling Nita, please? Yes, Jim. Yes? You have? Yes, I'll do it right away. Yes, right away. Yes, Jim. See you later, darling. You've had your five minutes. I swear I don't know where he is. Who is it? It's Nita. I have to talk to you, Mr. Howard. Later, I'm busy now. But it's very important. Just a minute. Not a crack out of you. What is it, Nita? I had to talk to you, Mr. Howard. I know you're looking for Jim McCoy. I don't want you to do anything to him. He wasn't the one who robbed your safe. How do you know anything about this? The slip the combination was written on had another number in the same handwriting on the back. What are you driving at? The number was 271. That's the number Dude Markey is on. He's the one who wrote the combination to your safe, and he's the one who robbed you. Are you sure of that? Jim McCoy has the proof. What? Don't say a word about this to nobody. Nobody, understand? I won't. I'll settle with you later, honey. Sit still, kid. Snibley. Send dude up to my office right away. This is Howard speaking. You. Jim, something terrible happened. Is Tommy hurt? They're holding Tommy for murder. But I have proof that it was Dude who killed that watchman. It isn't that. Mary Howard's been killed. Tommy was in the office alone with him. They found him with a gun in his hand. They said he shot him through the window. But they're holding Tommy for murder. Nita, I'm going out and find Dude Markey. I'll get the truth out of him. Do you think you can find him? I think I will. He wasn't fooling when he said he was pulling out. But he won't leave without those jewels. And he won't go without you. 
He's going to lead me right to them. They're planted someplace around that club. Don't worry, Nita. I'm going to clear up this whole thing tonight. Sally, do you think Dude will keep the appointment I gave him? No, I don't think he'll come. Come on, let's relax, Nita. What are you doing here? Blatty, you're letting the murderer get away. He's in the club right now. Jim, we've got to murder. Play later, Lanny. should really show up, it'll be just too big. Gee, I wish Jim would come. Jim? Hello, honey. Surprised to see me? No, dude. I've been waiting for you. Haven't I, Sally? Yeah, uh, yes, she has. So you thought you could get away with it, huh? I just came up to pay you back for that little story you told Murray Howard. And of course, that goes for your boyfriend, Jim McCoy, too. This is the last time you'll ever double cross anybody. <laughs> Sorry I had to hit you, Lanny. I couldn't let him get away. He confessed. These will be proof. He's the only one that had any reason for killing Murray Howard. I have all the other proof. Oh, Jim. Everything's going to be all right now, darling. A full course dinner for four with champagne for the new owner. Sugar, you look just like peaches and cream. Did you thank Jim for the break? She doesn't have to thank me, Slim. Say, with Slim and Sally on the job, you two can go on your honeymoon. That's what we planned, Tommy. Boy, ain't that wonderful, honey? My, my. That reward money sure came in handy. Hey, you're on. Do your stuff. Yes, I can.
Dancing craze has taken hold of the younger generation. Only thing they go for now is red heart syncopation. In private homes they wear the coffin out from year to year. And any time you pass a house, this is what you hear. Oh, hot box jumping in Lamey John, Richard Al Germany. Oh, beer cans and wine and junk, get a bug to touch and rub. Oh, gay cats stomping, romping high, rocking like ships at sea. Oh, cuddling in a funny hug, get a bug to touch and rub. Now, when it comes to hiding home, me just take a deal. Oh, they can swing it fast and slow. Every last one of those cats are here. They be shagging in the hop, all blue and Susie Q. Oh, wild expressions on their mouth. And you're the first person. 